So I'm just going to give you guys a tour of my, I'm sorry I'm only doing this now, but it's been busy, busy, busy. So a tour of my Airbnb. I don't make work on a camera, you know? You see it? Uh, okay, so you walk in, this door is very solid. When I say solid, it's like, you know, what do you call them? Boat doors. Yeah? Uh, yeah. I remember I write it on the screen when I remember, and it's like a lock, like you lock like a, like four times, click, click, click four times, right? Let me see if I can show you guys. Okay, so I mean, sorry, let me turn on all the lights so that my video is not uh, too dark. Yeah, so that oh sorry, that's better now. You see, so that's the way you walk in, right? So that's the door. This door is as I can't even explain to you how solid this door is. So so you click one. You click two, you click three, and you click... Oh, it's actually three. I thought there were four locks. And there's another one at the top as well. But it is a very... Like, it doesn't even shake. Like, I know it's making that sound. Trust me, it's such a strong door. And you have your... Um, um, what's that called again? Well, you have your view here to know who is at the door. So, that was amazing because if you've not been in a... Oh, no. Up never. The light is gone. But they always bring it back, like, within minutes even seconds sometimes <laughs> oh god Naja will always show itself nepal would always remind you that you're in nigeria okay you know i told you this airbnb i'm not gonna lie they i'm impressed i have some things that i kind of like okay you know what let me just go ahead let me go along i will show you guys okay so the light is back now so yeah it's nice to have that if you've not been to nigeria for a long time i'm talking fast because i have to catch sorry, because i have to catch a flight so if you've not been to nigeria in a long time you're going to be very anxious and that. so you, you, anything that makes you feel safe like this you have to look through the door and to know who is at the door and uh, that's that and when you walk in straight in this is the living room um, this is, I didn't watch the TV, that's not why I'm here, and uh, I ate some biscuits. I, I tried to eat things that I, I used to eat when I was in Nigeria. This is a, they call this cabin biscuit. It tasted different, to be honest. It tasted different, to be honest, and it's like so lightweight. It wasn't like this before, but it used to be in a bigger box, um, but now they do this more um, single um, sizes so just ignore this table a lot of crumbs from all the snacking and stuff like that and so yeah they have ac which is always working and i'm not gonna say too much this is it this is it and that's the dining room space and i didn't use the dining room because i didn't cook i didn't do any I, that's not why i'm here to be honest like i i'm not here for anything stressful so i've been eating out any restaurant that i enjoy the food i go out and eat that's why i came to nigeria to eat rishi rishi you know so it's uh, you know you don't mean okay anyways so that's it a bit of um you know then there's another room there i'm actually taking up two rooms so when i booked the airbnb i was looking for two rooms so he decided to lock up one of the rooms and give us these two okay these two but later on i was a bit there were one or two things about my room i was thinking okay open that let me see he came and opened it but he never locked it back since then so but anyways it's a three-bedroom house so i think he rents it to whoever if somebody's coming for two or three he rents it so after that then um this is the kitchen it's very basic there's no fridge which is uh, okay there's no fridge which is a, a bit of on the downside for me because you want your drinks very very cold if you're coming into a country uh this kind of a climate that is very very hot like this so i end up putting my water in the freezer because there's no fridge my water is frozen i can't drink it you see even all of these i had to put them in the freezer but you can't drink them hot because you're going to be too too warm but anyways it has the basic the microwave which i never used the kettle i used um basic things like that you know uh i don't know maybe some people i don't know who used that but anyways so there's the freezer that's the back door which was locked throughout the time we were here i never went anywhere to the back and this is the um the sink it's fair enough no but it's a bit wobbly you can see that it's a bit wobbly but i didn't do any cooking and he has a cooker here but that's what he has here i'm not gonna lie i'm impressed i brought this in here because this was in my room so i removed it and put it here because i know i don't need this space and i didn't want this in my room um i'm actually packed about to catch a flight so um this is uh, one of my luggages and this is me um dressed really down uh, i try not to wear any bright colors i try not to because of where I'm heading, do you know what I mean? I try to kind of like, I try to kind of like, um, I don't have the English word. Yeah, so I try to kind of be basic and uh, blend in the background, do you know what I mean? If that makes sense, right? So I'm heading somewhere else. So 
um, is a bit tricky, if you know what I mean. So I try to dress very basic. This is just, and I try to avoid bright colors, anything that brings attention to you. You know the way bright colors can be very warm to the eyes and stuff like that. Attract attention. So I said no, no. So I'm wearing it, and these are my normal running shoes or you know, walking shoes. I don't run. I walk. Um, so I have my leggings and. Uh, What's it called? And that's that's it. My room. I packed up my stuff. This is my room. The drawers. The first night, I was very nervous because I was like, "Oh, what did they steal my stuff or whatever?" So I opened here and I stored. Oh, Jenny Mac! Thank God I'm doing this tour. I would have forgotten this, Jenny Mac. Oh Lord. Okay. So yeah, I remember to take this now. And like they're important for my. Okay. Now so. I, the first day I was so a bit nervous, like what if something happens? So I put all my uh, my briefcases up, I put all my luggages here. So and then I locked this and I took the keys with me and then I locked the, I came out, right? So I have this one so that one, two, three and four. I locked them in there. They actually fit. I was able to stack them up there and then I, I locked this door as well. So I locked this door as well. Then I feel like okay, I'm giving somebody a lot of a lot of obstacles if somebody was trying to come and get my stuff or whatever so they have to go through this door and then before they go through that door but anyways i just felt like if i do that it's going to make somebody feel like you know what oh there's no point she's too well protected but anyways if after the first night the second night i felt grand i didn't bother doing it um i said the first, second night the second day the daytime when we wanted to go out sorry guys i'm talking really fast and this is room is basic it's okay Oh, let me zoom out again. It's basic. It's okay. Like, the, what else do you need? I love the flooring. Um, I, I like bright colors. You see what I mean? Uh, bright colors for flooring. I didn't like this sheet, this duvet. Um, to be honest, I never even found out what exactly it is. I didn't see. But if you look, you will see it's sealed both ways. So it's not like a duvet cover where you can take it off and then throw it in the washing machine and then replace it. So things like this would be very difficult for them to, you know, most, let me say most places in Nigeria will find it hard to maintain, okay, no, 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 to launder, to do, the laun to do the laundry and stuff like that. And the camera is not showing you, but I could see I'm a germaphobe. So I could see um, that it wasn't clean. And that's sad look look at that on the wall funny enough guys believe it or not i was sleeping let me go back a bit i was sleeping like this yeah i was sleeping like this i was like i'm only here for like a few days so i just i just let it be you know because the man is such a lovely man i'm, I'm not gonna lie if i had asked for another room if i've asked for the sheets to be changed if I'd, he, he would have done it i have to give him that right oh i don't think I've, i didn't film this i had to kill a cockroach look at that I saw a cockroach in the kitchen. I was like, oh, let it be. You know, we all have the right to life. <laughs> but the day I, it came into my room, I was like, I'm sorry. Like, because these things can bite. They've never, never bitten me before, but they are known to bite. So I was like, no, I'm not going to deal with all of that. I, I don't even want to kill it. But it's becoming, you know, me versus you. You know, is it that me or you? So now that it came into my room, I had to kill it. So that's, that's my being full. I've been drinking bottled water. I've been trying to even drink more since i ended up in hospital but i am much much better now but i'm still very scared i'm not gonna lie i'm scared and another bin there is full because i'm always you see the blue thing at the bottom there that's a glove in there i have a lot of gloves i use glove for a lot of things and you know okay these are my towels they are the disposable towels they're actually bio biodegradable as well so when i travel i try not to i don't like having towels i say i don't use one towel more than once i use one towel every night even at home just one towel a night so to have to change a lot of towels so i had to uh, and i came with disposable ones so i can always use one towel you know each each time so those are my towels on the floor i put it here because there was nothing to prevent wet floor from the bathroom to from uh, coming out here so i did it that way and then this is the bathroom the shower that's no problem that's the oh sorry well that's the toilet and that's the water for those that want to wash their ass the wash the backside you know what i mean after you've done after you've done number two i didn't use it. i came with my own tissue i always travel with tissues tissues and then this is not bad right but the thing i didn't like is that the shower is just here this is the shower this is this is the shower it's just here and there's the toilet so you're showering just by the toilet i didn't like that at all you know sometimes when you're done the toilet is so soaking wet that you can't even sit on it you have to like start drying it to sit on it i i, I said it to the man anyways but is it is a thing in nigeria a lot of bathrooms are being designed this way nowadays i don't know why but look at that that was broken and i'm sorry but there's no excuse because like i can't pay the amount of money that i paid and have to not have a sink 
a sink a water coming from the sink so basically i was using the shower head as you know what i mean i used it and i was using it as my sink you know and i just didn't that i didn't like to be honest so but anyways um but it's a thing in nigeria so i'm not surprised when they do things like that because they're used to that and then that that is the room my cousin slept in so i'm not even gonna go there there's no point it's basically the same thing right so i think i've given you, you guys a, a good tour of the place